verse is over. Romans 6 chapter, verse 14. And it says, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. See, Flip Wilson used to say, The devil made me do it. Well, the devil can't make us do anything. Right. Amen. Because sin no longer has dominion of us. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And don't tell me you couldn't help yourself that you fell into sin. No, you went into it with your eyes wide open. Yeah. It was all about choices. Amen. Amen. And we can make the right choice. Yeah. Not in and of ourselves, but through the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Thank Amen. You. In Christ, we can do all things. Amen. 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 The law was given to reveal the sin that's in the human heart. Mm. We are incapable of ever keeping the law. And I went on the computer the other day and I was looking at some of the laws that they had back then. It was 613 laws other than the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Amen. And some of them were just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. One man was stoned to death just because he was picking up sticks on the Sabbath. You better thank God every day for grace, amen, amen. for his mercy and his loving kindness. Oh, yeah. The yeah. law brought us to a place of understanding that it's only by the grace of God that we overcome sin. Mm. Amen. Right. Look at Romans, uh, go back to uh, Romans 5 and 20. Romans 5 and 20. Mm. Glory be to God. And we're talking about faith accesses the grace of God. Romans 5 and 20 says, Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Now the Greek word that Paul uses here means superabounding. Amen? Sin can never exceed the superabounding grace of God. The New Living Translation says, God's law was given so that all people could see how sinful they were. Mm -hmm. But as people sin more and more, God's grace became more abundant. Yes. We can't out sin God's grace. Amen. Isn't that awesome? Amen. It's always available oh. for you to repent, amen, and receive His forgiveness. Oh. We don't always do things the right way. We miss it sometimes. We say and do the wrong thing sometimes. I know I do. Amen. Amen. But the good news is, when we miss the mark, God's grace is right there. Amen. His love is right there. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why the gospel is loaded with good news. Amen. Look at verse 21, Romans 5, 21. That if sin has reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life. How? By Jesus Christ, our Lord. The law was what made sin reign unto death. Sin ruled and controlled people by uh, condemnation and guilt. It made people sin conscious because they couldn't keep the law. Amen? Amen. But Romans 6, I mean, Romans 6, 23 says the wages of sin is, is death. But now that we have Christ, we have a new and better covenant. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to be sin conscious anymore. We are grace conscious. See, when you miss the mark, you don't go somewhere and beat yourself down. Amen? When you miss the mark, you say, thank you, Lord, for forgiving me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You serve a good God. Yes. The New Living Translation says, So just as sin ruled over all people and brought them to death, now God's wonderful grace rules instead, giving us right standing with God and resulting in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Mm -hmm. Instead of the law, grace is the power of the gospel. Mm -hmm. And it's so sad that a whole lot of people haven't heard the good news mm -hmm. of the gospel. Mm -hmm. I thank God for the missionaries that go into places where the brave dare not go. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> they go to tell hurting and dying people how much God loves them. Yeah. Amen. There are places that missionaries go to minister that the people that they minister to would have them for dinner. And I don't mean guests. I mean they would have them as a main course. I'm talking about they go and minister to cannibals. And then people that would like to eat them, they go in there. These are brave men and women because they love the Lord and they want to tell them how much God loves them. Amen. And sad to say, so many Christians won't even go next door to tell their neighbors how much God loves them. I like to ask Christians, if you were arrested for being a Christian, would there be enough evidence to convict you? <laughs> would they say, oh yeah, they read the Bible. Oh yeah, I saw them praying. Oh yeah, they go to church. Would there be enough evidence? Mm. 
<laughs> to convict you of being a Christian. <laughs> so many people dying and going to hell every day, and some of us have this good news, and we won't even share it. I don't know if it's because we're afraid or embarrassed or what, but you better get like Paul and say, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Amen. That's right. Amen. This is the purpose of coming to church and Bible study. We come here to learn the word of God and how to apply it to our life so that we can go out and share it with others. That's why we have the five-fold ministry. Ephesians 4, 11, 4, 11 through 13, you don't have to turn in the New Living Translation says, now these are the gifts that Christ gave to the church, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and the teachers. Their responsibility is to equip God's people to do his work and build up the church, the body of Christ. This will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son that we will be mature in the Lord, measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. See, we got to grow up in the things of God. Amen? Amen. I tell people, stop sweating the small stuff. You're just too blessed Amen. to be stressed Amen. over every little thing that come up. Amen? Amen. Recognize that the Do devil is going to be coming at you with certain things. Mm -hmm. Just think, this too shall pass. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm the head and not the tail. Right. Mm -hmm. Start confessing the word of God. Amen. We got work to do. Yes. Vicky Winans had a song out there and then she had been lied on, she had been mistreated, she had been cheated, she had been talked about, but she said, long that I got to Jesus. Amen. We are big chores. We are not big. Christians, the Holy Spirit has given every Christian special gifts for building up the church. All of you have gifts. All of you should be about the Father's business. As we mature spiritually, we will be able to discover and exercise our gifts. Amen? Amen. Amen. But we got to grow up. Is that all right? Give God a hand clap of prayer. Amen. And let's give our our our, 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 our pastor a, 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 a clap for doing a good good lesson this morning. Amen. Hello, sis. God will take a mess and turn it into a mess. <laughs> <laughs>